All right. It is time for another update regarding the iOS 18 betas. So yesterday, iOS 18 beta 5 just got released, and there are actually quite a few changes with this version. Uh, and I'm going to be going over those in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> uh, so the first one is a brand new feature in Safari, and it is called Hide Distractions. And so what that does, if we go over here and jump into Safari... Um, essentially, what this is, is it's a new button that you can uh, press, and it allows you to hide various things within the page uh, that you're looking at. So, if we click on the little icon in the top left of the search bar there, or bottom left, depending on which position you have your search bar, whether it be at the top or the bottom, uh, but wherever that is, you can click that little button, and then you'll now see this toggle here or uh, action called Hide Distracting Items. And so we can go ahead and click that. And you're going to now be brought into this menu where you can basically select various things on the screen. So let's say this top thing here that says Store, the best way to buy the products you love. Say you don't want that because it's in your way. You can just go and tap on that, and you get this button now that says Hide. When you hit Hide... It literally makes it have a really cool animation that dis makes the whole thing disappear, effectively. So now that section of the web page is gone. Um, it's not permanently gone. It's just a temporary thing for when you are um, reading the or looking at the web page again to uh, remove distractions. So that's pretty cool. And so you can see we can select all kinds of things. We can select this bigger one here. We can select this section. If you actually want to remove the little title bar at the top that has all the buttons, you can do that. Uh, but let's say we don't want uh, this bottom thing here. We can remove that. Really cool animation. And it kind of sit away, and you're good. And then when you're done, you can hit Done. And then now that web page has those two uh, sections removed. And if you want to see what you removed, you can hit the little I button right there. And then you can show hidden items. And then it'll give you this little warning and it'll put everything back. You hit show. And then now it puts everything back that you had just hidden previously. So, pretty nifty feature. Alright, moving on to the next uh, fairly large change. And that involves the Photos app. So if we jump into Photos. Uh, you can see now that the carousel uh, is now completely gone. So, previously in Beta 4... I'll have a little bit of a screen recording here on the side to kind of sh give it a demonstration of that. Uh, but in beta 4, <clears throat> uh, you had this carousel uh, within the top section of the Photos app that you could slide back and forth with uh, to give uh, different options or access different options uh, for the photos. Uh, we're now in beta 5. You can see that carousel is gone, and I cannot slide left or right to get to different sections. So... Um, I actually prefer it this way. I don't really like to have that carousel feature there. It just, for me, kind of got in the way um, more than anything. So, personally, I like that it's gone. Uh, and the next thing in the Photos app is at the very bottom, it's just a slight change, uh, the button down here that says Customize and Reorder has changed. So, in Beta 4, this said simply Customize. It only said Customize. And now in beta 5, it now says customize and reorder. Okay, another slight change, or addition rather, on the home screen editing. Uh, so if you go into the home screen editing menu and hit edit here, there's now a new button called edit pages. Whereas in beta 4, all you had was add widget and customize as the two options you could choose from. But now you have edit pages, and what that does is when you hit it, it straight away just jumps you into your page editor. Uh, so you can modify your different home screens. Um, the previous way you would access that is down here on the three or the four little dots, uh, page dots at the bottom here. You would click that, and that's how you would access your uh, editing of home screen pages. Uh, so basically, Apple just added a second way of accessing that uh, customization option. So moving on, uh, so we have a couple of home screen icon changes. So currently you can see uh, Beta 5, the Maps app has actually changed. So it's a lot less colorful. Uh, whereas you can see here in Beta 4, 
Uh, the Maps app had uh, lots of different color to it. Um, and actually, to me, it looked a little bit better uh, than the way it does in Beta 5. I'm not too keen on this black uh, background of the Maps app icon with the blue line. Uh, but that's just my preference. And then the next thing is the Find My icon here. You can see it's also slightly changed compared to Beta 4. So Beta 4, again, it was a little bit brighter green. Whereas now in Beta 5, they've kind of toned down the brightness or something of the uh, green color on that particular icon. Uh, next, there is a rename of a settings toggle uh, within the Wi-Fi settings. So if we go into Wi-Fi settings here and select the network, you can see uh, there is this option called private Wi-Fi address. And when you click on that, you get a couple of different options. You have off, fixed, or rotating. Uh, so they've kind of updated that, and it updated the name of it. Okay, moving on. So back to Control Center, we have a few icon changes again. So this kind of continues to get refined. Uh, so several icons have changed. So the battery, uh, they're not the battery, the low power mode icon has changed compared to, as you can see in Beta 4, uh, the uh, lock and rotate button has slightly changed. And some various other icons have uh, reduced contrast, and some have increased contrast. Uh, and just various things like that. Uh, this next thing here, there's a new button uh, for, I, I believe, the iPhone 15 Pro only. Because uh, it does not seem to show up on this particular phone that I am using. And what that is, is it's a silent mode toggle or button that you can add to Control Center. Uh, so presumably that goes in line with the action button that is on the 15 Pro. Uh, and that is why I would assume it's not available on uh, other devices or other um, iPhone models. On the left side of the screen here, you can see what Beta 4 looks like. It's kind of got a cellular tower type of look to it. Whereas now if we slide in here to Beta 5's icon, you can see the cellular data icon now shows uh, signal bars uh, rather than that kind of cellular tower icon that it did previously. So next on here is that weird Bluetooth power toggle button that we had in Beta 4. Uh, as you can see here on the left, again, uh, is not present in Beta 5. So if I search Bluetooth, you see we get absolutely no options. So that weird kind of toggle button w is now gone. Um, not entirely sure what that button was meant for, but it obviously was not something that was supposed to be accessible yet. Uh, so uh, they ended up removing it uh, because it obviously in beta 4 it didn't work. So when you would actually click on it, it wouldn't do anything. So makes sense that it's gone right now, but I'm kind of hoping that it would come back because it seems like it could be a really nice thing to have to be able to quickly toggle Bluetooth or even Wi-Fi um, on and off quickly and easily directly from here. And the next thing here is the emoji keyboard. So if I go in here to the emoji keyboard, not much has really changed. Uh, it's pretty similar to how it was before. Uh, but basically what's happened is uh, they look to have basically made it very similar how it is currently on iOS 17. So the layout and the function of it basically looks and functions very similar to that of iOS 17. This is something also that Apple keeps kind of fiddling with and changing back and forth. So I'm not entirely sure why Apple is trying to mess with the emoji keyboard so much. And so the last thing is involving a bug with the tips application. And so for some people, uh, they have reported that basically the tips app will not open and will just kind of hang and spin forever and won't open. However, I could not seem to replicate that myself. Uh, so if we go to the tips application and open it, you see it just opens straight away uh, with no issues. So it, I haven't really encountered that bug personally, but some people have uh, had their tips application completely break and no longer function after updating to iOS 18 beta 5. But anyway, so yeah, that is basically it uh, for this iOS 18 beta update. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Hit that like button. Uh, it's greatly appreciated and helps out the YouTube algorithm uh, to recommend my content more. And hit that subscribe button as well. That is also much, much appreciated. Really trying to grow the channel here. 
And yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop those down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.